This episode of the Totally Rad Show is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, and Warwick Davis all star in this new British comedy, Life's Too Short. All right, everybody, we are back in TV land. We are talking about the new HBO series uh, from、uh, Stephen Merchant and Ricky Gervais called Life's Too Short.、Uh, it is it's about a rapper it's a from mockumentary. The it's late a, it, yeah, exactly. It's a,、uh, a mockumentary in the sort of style of the Ricky Gervais, Stephen Merchant, you know, office extras kind of a thing、uh, that stars Warwick Davis,、uh, who you definitely know as、um, Willow. Willow, yeah, and、uh, the、e、main Ewok that everybody loved. Wicked. And, Wicked. And I was surprised the little robot guy from.、Uh, um, Hitchhiker's Guide. Yeah. He's like any, most little things running around.、And、everything. Yeah. Harry Potter. Yeah. Yaddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah.、Uh, that's, flip, that's so, listed. Yeah. So,、uh, so the, the series is, as I said, a mockumentary following the day in the life of uh, uh, Warwick Davis. Warwick Davis playing here a heightened version of himself, obviously,、um, much oh, more sort of. That's not a good pun. Come on. <laughs> and, I like to throw little puns in every once in a while. I said little puns. Uh, but uh, but anyway, so、uh, it's very that style of the British awkward humor.、Um, a lot of guest stars. We saw the first two episodes. The third episode just came out, I think, last night? Yeah, last night the third episode came out, so we haven't seen that yet.、Um, Daniel Trachtenberg.、Mm -hmm. How short is your life? Yeah. Too short? I, 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 I thought Life Too Short was very amusing. I'm not a、uh, <laughs> little person. I'm not a little person, so I don't really know. I don't really I connect feel like crypto comment on it, honestly. I don't feel right. No.、Uh, I thought it was very amusing. I didn't laugh out loud too much. In fact, the only parts that I did laugh out loud at were the celebrity guest appearance, which I assume every week there will be one、yeah. big star that will be. A la、um, extras. A la extras, yeah. yeah. Being extras have more than one. No, usually it was, it was one. just the one. So, yeah. Usually. Yeah, it's, it's like the model will be there will be a big star in the room with. Yeah. Yeah, somehow that will have to end up、yeah. that way, which is fun. I like that conceit.、Um, but yeah, Liam Neeson in the first episode, which I had seen already on the internet, but then also Johnny Depp in the second episode, were the, the biggest aha moments, or ha ha moments. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> aha! Aha! Funny the difference that the, the age makes. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome.、Um, but、uh, there was, it was a lot of fun moments、uh, all around. One thing I did appreciate is that. <laughs> Uh, most of these shows from Arrested Development to Modern Family and the, the Ricky Gervais shows are,、uh, they don't really, they only address the camera,、um, they only address the like, conceit of it's being filmed for a documentary.、Um, they don't actually. Like, they're either talking to the camera interview style, but it's, you're never really sure that this is actually a documentary. Or、right. there's little moments where characters will like, look at a camera. Yeah, when once somebody says、moon. something really dumb. They show、yeah. there's more interaction between him and the camera crew. He's,、yeah. he's actually talking about that, why it's being filmed and、mm -hmm. whatever, you know? Like, it, I mean, it's a little new one. It's, a little, it's just a little bit more than the other shows. And I, I enjoyed that. And I hope there's even more of、yeah. that. It、yeah. makes it more、yeah. of a Christopher Guest thing、yeah. than an office thing. Or yeah, the, the office, Parks and Rec,、yeah. it's th that whole style you're talking、yeah. about, Modern Family.、Yeah. It's, it's abstracted to the point of. Not being based on anything actual. You don't expect、yeah. there to ever see this document. There's,、yeah. no, there's not camera crew, but it's just like, it's just a conceit to tell the story that、exactly. way. Yeah, yeah. Where this kind of addresses the documentary that's being made. Because he even、um, says, I'm making a documentary yeah, and he talk, <laughs>、yeah. Yeah, about and my life. He talks and people to, walk in and they're like, What's going on with this? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah.、Um, so I really enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah.、Right. And I enjoyed the show. I, it, it's a little dry for me, as some British shows are, but,、um, you know. Yeah. Yeah, it's really interesting、yep. that Ricky Gervais and Stephen Merchant have this style.、Mm -hmm. And it's almost like when you watch、uh, the, the, the Woody Allen movies where Woody Allen is not playing himself, but there's a stand in、right. surrogate playing him,、right. that that person sort of is inherently, in, in order to talk in the rhythms in which it was written,、yeah. sort of becomes Woody Allen slowly. Yeah.、Uh, and I think. Uh, Owen Wilson did a very good job most recently in that, but some people do lesser you know, good jobs. You know.、Um, in the same way, I feel like Ward Davis, 
probably by virtue of the fact that he really hangs out with those guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He <laughs> he is doing that style. He is yeah. he's talking in a way that like I could hear all of that dialogue coming right out of Ricky Gervais's mouth. Yeah. And I enjoy that style. I enjoy that style. If you don't like the original UK office, if you don't enjoy extras, if you don't like that sort of well, he, that's what I would is. Unless you and commenting on something as it's happening in a way that how he does, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you won't enjoy this because <laughs> that's self-deprecating too. It's self-deprecating. Like, right, yeah. It's always conscious of how it's the the humor comes from trying to present oneself in a way that's different from how one really is. And I think Gervais and Merchant are very much interested in that dichotomy that we have in modern life of. Hmm. Of trying to appear one way, and really, Curb Your Enthusiasm is about that in a lot of ways well, too. Well, and Curb Your Enthusiasm is the same type of humor because it's really that a lot, a lot watching a small, but you're also yeah. watching a slow car crash yeah. of embarrassment. Yeah, but, but that is literally but, Curb the Office. It's yeah. just the, the more in, I think the interesting distinction between Curb and the Gervais Merchant style mm. is how it's presented and De- Curb, Curb, Curb. There's no, none of that conceit, yeah. and none of that sort of rhythm that this show very much is. And Warwick Davis does really, really. Really well, he does Ricky Gervais really well. Yeah, I think the thing that shines in this for me is Warwick Davis, and rightfully so. I mean, you know, you I, I'm obviously a fan of Warwick Davis, know who he, like watched, love Will. I mean, he's actually a very amazing actor, but never have I seen him in this type of situation, and right. I really felt great to see him do this thing. I have to say, the wedding scene in, in the season or episode two. I couldn't not laugh looking at Warwick Davis. Oh, in, that outfit, in that little outfit. Yeah. I could, it, it just <laughs> could. That, and, and, and it's really, really clever, fun stuff. And it's always fun to see British programs because there is that sort of like, it's a little bit like eating in an Indian restaurant. Well, you see, you're in L.A. Like, I'm in my my room, but I'm going, oh, man, I really want to go to London. And everything just seems so cool there. And the way people talk is so different. You know what I mean? Like, you just get that fun vibe when his, really you're seeing a sitcom like this. His receptionist, office. I honestly don't understand half the things she says. Oh, no, I know, like, right? Oh, my thing. Yeah. Uh, and I'm she, like, I have yeah. no idea what you're saying. Yeah. And I think that this, like, as you pointed out and as, as you pointed out, I think if you are a fan of the sort of Ricky Gervais old school office I think if you're a fan of Curb, Extras, any of those types of programs, the sort of, you know, squirrely, oh, don't do it, it's going to be so bad, you know, kind of comedy, this is a knock on the park right up up your alley. Uh, unfortunately for me, that's the kind of humor I just don't really enjoy that much. I love it. Um, yeah, and I've, like, tried to get into Curb, and I just can't because I don't like that squirmish... I can see what's going wrong, and by God, this is so embarrassing. You know, when he gets up and does a little speech at the way, I'm like, I just, I, I had to fast forward through some of it because it was just so like, I feel bad for the person. You know what I mean? But um, you know what's also interesting is, especially for our audience, is that I think this is the first one of the Merchant Gervais shows that, by virtue of Warwick Davis' career in genre films, it's sort of about geekiness and nerdiness in a way that Star he's Wars Yeah. Star yeah. Wars wedding, yeah, like and going to the sort of UK Comic Con, like yes. I do, and, and that is the stuff where I really enjoyed it. And it's one of these things where, because there's a good balance, I probably will watch the rest of this series and enjoy myself. Because though I'm not a big fan of that kind of humor, it's not all that kind of humor. And there's enough yeah. of the other stuff, like seeing the celebrities. I mean, like that stuff. It's is really just funny, funny and extra. Hysterical. It's always funny to see. Uh, a uh, respected celebrity who's no, not known for comedy to come in and be really funny, A, yeah. and B, make fun of themselves. God. And that Liam Neeson. The Liam Neeson thing <laughs> is. And even gold. the Johnny Depp thing. Which was Johnny Depp, like, when he first, Wacky when he first Rock, came in. Yeah, 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 I was yeah, like, yeah. this is amazing. <laughs> yeah, just do your, just, just do your. <laughs> and he hops on the chair. Yeah. Oh my God, he actually hopped on the chair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. great, and I anticipate you know the the level of people that yeah. those guys can get now. Yeah, there's yeah, one like, I I've saw I hear that there's one with Patrick Stewart that I'm just dying to hear. Oh, the extras with yeah. Patrick Stewart. I know. I saw us all. I oh saw yeah, all of it. Uh, that is one of my favorite guest yeah. appearances ever. So it is definitely, definitely, definitely a, a, a must watch. Even if you're not into that kind of humor, there's enough there to take out of it, and it's really, really cleverly written and, and well executed. And the celebrity stuff, I mean, it's just sort of fun to see people make fun of themselves in that way. Yeah. I mean. There's a lot. There's a lot here to see. So HBO Sunday nights. Uh, life's too short. Woo!
All right, everybody, be sure to stick around. We've got some more John Carter hotness、uh, coming right up. But first, we want to thank our sponsors, The Ben Heck Show. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and his friends as they build and modify a host of amazing community inspired creations.、Uh, be sure to watch new episodes of The Ben Heck Show every two weeks right here at revision3.com slash TBHS. In the latest episode of The Ben Heck Show, Ben returns to his roots and builds a replica of his original. Atari 2600、wow. portable gaming system.、Sweet. Unbelievable. You can also go to element14.com slash TBHS to find out how you can enter to win Ben's builds from this latest episode as well as other builds from the show. I think it's awesome that he builds these awesome things and then lets you have them. I would never give those away. Because they're hard to build for you. Well, first off. Not for him. I guess he's just like, bam, bam, bam. You want this? I don't. I just, it was a good idea. It's like, it's like Harry Potter giving away his Patronus. He can make another one. That's true.、Uh, although Patronus steak, filet man, you'd like just、oh, right with some、so、seasoning. It's good. Anyway, thank you. Check us out tomorrow for some hands on the new PlayStation Vita. I mean, we've there that we set the bar. That's what I mean. And then everybody, yeah. Like, even people and employees, if you walk through that and you're not totally fucking rad, <laughs> you're probably going <laughs>、oh, to be shunned.、Right. Yeah, oh,、right? totally. That's totally. Totally. the pressure to live up to. What if you have a bad day? We never have a bad day because it's, <laughs>、oh, really? it's the total. I'm working. I'm going to work for you guys then. Okay. I am. We've got, we've got a slot open. We can, really? We、Do、can、I、get rid of one of our hosts. Male or janitor or anything? No. Work my way no, up. No, you can be one of the hosts of the show. No way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's totally right. And we won't pay you anything.、Uh, okay. That sounds <laughs> That's totally, totally right. right. <laughs>、um, tell me briefly about、uh, your character, John Carter. John Carter's a guy who basically went to war for the, to, to、uh, protect his family and in doing the right thing loses them. So he carries a guilt.、Um, And becomes a recluse and goes and basically mines for gold in these caves and、uh, through nothing but chance. And、um, he get, at these extraordinary circumstances he's put in and, and gets transported to Mars. And what happens on Mars is he basically finds another a cause, another purpose that he lost on Earth in、uh, falling in love with Deja to you know, meeting some incredible friends as well along the way. Andrew Stanton, big Pixar guy. First live action movie.、Yeah. Uh, you obviously are probably a big fan of Pixar movies.、Uh, everybody is.、Yeah. Um, was, that, was that intimidating? It's totally or it's totally rad. It's exactly. Totally rad. <laughs> exactly. See, you're getting it. You can、yeah. be a host. Yes. Yes.、Um, was that intimidating to work with Andrew Stanton? Or? I love the challenge. And when you meet him, there's no ego. So I think he's just very inviting. And the, the passion is very infectious.、Mm-hmm. And、um, you know, I think it says a lot that we just finished working with each other the past two years and we can't wait to reunite. Um, you know, hopefully, I bring another energy as well to it in the role、um, that, that he will draw energy from, too. So I think it really did work out that way.、Uh, also, Willem Dafoe.、Who? Working with Willem,、uh, Willem Dafoe.、Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, never heard of him. Okay,、no. next question. Yeah, please. It was、um, weird. Yeah, it just, a, I think he was an extra in the yeah, movie. What was it was. like working with that extra who, who's、uh, on stilts all the time? Oh, well,、um, it was all right. I mean, he's <laughs> done, I think, a couple other extra gigs. Yeah. Which yeah. is okay. I, I think he's, he's a、okay. featured extra, at least.、Really? I think he has a SAG card. <laughs> yeah. Has, yeah. Good on him. He's working yeah, his way yeah, up, is he?、Uh, no, I mean, he speaks for himself. And there was truly. Moments where I was like, okay, that's why he's Willem Dafoe. That's why he's had the career he's had.、Um, he's truly just a professional. And、uh, our set was amazing, man. We're like this small family. And、uh, that's very rare for any movie, especially one this big, you know.、Uh, stress seems to go a bit higher when it's, the weight's a bit heavier on you. But、um, he's an amazing guy. And, and again, it goes to. Hopefully, reuniting with Tars Tarkas. Well, if, if I was to say clear eyes, full hearts, you would say. Totally rad. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you very、cool. much. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs>、exactly.